Miss Teresa here with Calvert Library. I'm here to share a bedtime story with you today called In a Garden, written by Tim McKenna, illustrated by Amy Securo. A special thank you to the publishing company Simon & Schuster for allowing us to share this story with you today. In a garden on a hill, sparrows chirp and crickets trill. In the earth, a single seed sits beside a millipede. Worms and termites dig and toil, moving through the garden soil. Then at last, a tiny shoot ever slowly forms a root. First a seedling, then a sprout, pushing, bursting up and out. In a garden, day by day, newborn flowers find their way. Sunlight warms the morning air. Dewdrops shimmer here and there. Earwigs scuttle, beetles scurry. Roly-poly scoot and worry. Sleepy slugs and garden snails leave behind their silver trails. Frantic teams of busy ants scramble up the stems of plants. In a garden, week by week, little creatures hunt and squeak. All the while, a sprout is growing without anybody knowing. Buds emerge and leaves unfold, braving wind and heat and cold, stretching, spreading open wide, just the perfect place to hide. Underneath, it's safe and snug for a lonely ladybug. In a garden, showers fall, dainty drinks for one and all. Flower petals, bold and bright, blossom in the beaming light. Blooms of every shape and size call to bees and butterflies. Daisy, foxglove, tulip plum, daffodil, chrysanthemum. Sips of nectar warm and sweet, pollen clings to head and feet. Round and round they buzz and flit, only pause to rest a bit. In a garden, bugs aglow, flashing, flying to and fro. Lace wings, gnats, mosquitoes, spiders, dragonflies, and water striders live among the cattail reeds, lily pads, and water weeds, keeping hid from hungry eyes, using colors to disguise. Crafty bugs with clever tricks look like leaves or bark or sticks. In a garden full of green, Many moments go unseen. Finding shelter in the shade, careful rows of eggs are laid as a cool and gentle breeze whispers through the tops of trees. Then a seed slips to the ground, sinking in without a sound. Time goes by and by and then life returns to start again. Always changing, never still, in a garden, on a hill. The end. In the back of this book, there's a section titled, How Does a Garden Grow? Have your adult read this to you and you can talk about how to grow a garden. I'm so glad you could join me today. Don't forget to check out other storytime snippets on Calvert Library's social media platforms. Bye!